Good day, kids. Rise and shine. I am Teacher Rafi, and I will be teaching you Mathematics 3. How are you, kids? Are you fine? I hope so. Now, let's start. Today, we will discuss rounding numbers by tens, hundreds, and thousands. When do we use rounding? We will use rounding when the question asks you to round. When the question asks you to estimate. When the question asks about how many. And to find out what your answer should be. Okay? There are points for you to memorize in order for you to round numbers. Okay, we will read the poem twice. Find your number. Look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. Another one. Find your number. Look right next door. Four or less, just ignore. Five or more, add one more. Okay. Is that clear? Now, round this number to the nearest 10. The given number is 978. Okay, find your number. Circle the number in the tens place. Where is the number which is in the tens place? Number seven, very good. Now, next, look right next door. So draw an arrow to the right of the number. So the right of the number of seven is number eight. Next, four or less, just ignore. Okay, since eight is larger than four, so go to the next line of the poem, which is five or more, add one more. So we will add one to the seven and all the numbers to the right of eight become zero. So meaning to say, eight will become zero. So the answer is 978 rounded to the nearest 10 is 980. Okay, is that clear? Okay, very good. Now let's proceed. Round this number to the nearest 100. Okay, the given number is 327. Okay. Find your number. Circle the number in the hundreds place. Okay, what is the number which is in the hundreds place? Number three. Very good. Now, look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the number. Okay, so the right of the number three is number two. Next, four or less. Just ignore. Okay, since two is less than four, so we do not change three. We will change numbers to right to zero. So three, zero, zero. Therefore, 327 rounded to the nearest hundred is 300. Is that clear, kids? Okay, very good. Next. Now, round this number to the nearest thousand. The given number is 7,780. Now, find your number and circle the number in the thousands place. Okay, the number which is in the thousands place is number seven. Next, look right next door. Draw an arrow to the right of the number. So the right of the number is number seven. Now, four or less, just ignore. So since seven is larger than four, so we will go to the next line of the poem. We will, five or more, add one more. So we will add one to the seven, which is in the circle, and all numbers to the right of seven become 
zero. So the answer of 7,780 rounded to the nearest thousand is 8,000. Okay, is that clear, kids? Okay, very good. We would, now we will proceed. Let's have an activity. So the direction is round the number into tens, hundreds, and thousands. So the given number is 9,873. Number two, 3,450. Number three, 6,784. So now, I will give you time. Now, start answering kids. Okay, let's check your answer, kids. Okay, 9,873. So let's answer first in the tens. So the, the number which is in the tens place is number seven. And the right number of number seven is number three. And number three is Less than five. So number three will become zero. Okay, so the answer of tens will become 9,870. Okay, I, do you have correct answer, kids? Okay, very good. Okay, next, in the hundreds. So we will find the hundreds place of the given number. Okay, so the hundreds place of the given number is number eight. Now, look right next door. So that the right of number eight is number seven. And number seven is more than five. And we will add one to eight. And seven and three will become zero. So the answer would be 9,900. Okay, very good. Next, thousands. We will find the number which is in the thousands place. So the number which is in the thousand place is number nine. And the number right to the thousand place is number eight. And it is more than five. So we will simply add one to nine and make the remaining number become zero. So the answer would be 10,000. Okay. Are you correct with your answer, kids? Okay, very good. Let's proceed. Number two. The given number is 3,452. And let's start answer in tens. So the tens place of the given number is number five. And the right number of number five is number two. Number two is less than five. So we will remain number five and number two will become zero. So that the answer is 3,450. Next, in hundreds, we will find the hundreds place of the given number. And it is number four. And the right number of number four is five. And five, based on the, on the last line of the poem, five or more, add one more. So we will add one to the number four. And the remaining number of the right is, will become zero. So that the answer will become 3,500. Okay, next, in thousands. We will find the thousands place of the given number. So the number is three. And look right next door. So the right number of number three is number four. And it is less than five. 
So we will remain number three. And four, five, and two will become zero. And the answer would be 3,000. Okay, very good. Number three. The given number is 6,784. We will answer first the tens. So the tens place of the given number is number eight. And the right number of eight is number four. And since number four is less than five, so we will remain eight and we will replace number four to zero. So that the answer will be 6,000. 780. Okay, next in the hundreds, we will find the hundreds place of the given number. So the number is number seven. And the right number of number seven is number eight. And since number eight is more than five, so we will add one to number seven. And make it zero, the remaining numbers to the right, so that the answer will be 6,800. Next, in thousands. So the thousands place of the given number is number six. And the right number of number six is number seven. And since number seven is more than five, is more than five, we will add, we will add one to number six and make zero the remaining numbers to the right so that the answer would be 7,000. Okay, do you have correct answers, kids? Okay, very good. See you next time, kids. Goodbye and have a nice day.